Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a good trading week so far. So this is a team from Financial Market Wizards. Now, if you're looking to master Forex trading and you know improve your trading results, then you're in the right channel, okay? Because in today's video, I'm going to reveal how you can write massive trends via trailing your stop loss. Now, understand that you know many traders struggle it with holding their winners and cutting their losses, okay? And that's the uh, you know how you become a prof profitable trader, being able to hold your winners and cut your losses fast. And I know, you know, this is difficult and that's why I recorded this video today for you. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be focusing on how you can hold your winners. Okay, I won't address the portion of cutting your losses, but I'll just be focusing on how you can hold your winners. Okay, now before we get into today's video, I want to read you this quote by Jesse Livermore. Okay, so he says in his book, after spending many years in Wall Street and after making and losing thousands, millions of dollars, I want to tell you this, it never was my thinking that made the big money for me. It was always my sitting. Got that? my sitting tight, okay? So you need to be able to sit tight uh, when you're right, okay? If you want to make a lot of money, okay? And that's how, uh, you, you, you know, you really ride the trend. You'll be patient and you manage your trade accordingly through a stop, trailing stop loss, okay? So I'll show you how to do just that in today's video, okay? So this is what I'll be covering today. I'll share with you four ways to manage your trades, okay? Uh, I'll share with you how you can do trailing via moving average crossover? How do you do trailing via moving average close? How do you do a trailing stop loss via break of trend line? Or the trailing via break off structure? Okay, I'll get into the details for each of this. And lastly, I'll give you a bonus tip about why you need to have multiple exit strategies. Okay, so make sure you stay to the end because this is very important. There are a lot of new traders, they just have a singular exit strategy, which is not ideal. Okay, I'll explain to you why later. Okay, so let's go into the first one first, which is trailing via moving average crossover. Okay, so what you see over here is dollar yen. Okay, I pulled out dollar yen. Uh, so on the top left here, you can see that uh, I put out the uh, uh, moving average indicators. Uh, you have a 20 period moving average and a 50 period moving average uh, indicator. Okay, just a disclaimer. Okay, I'm not saying that you have to use the uh, 20 period and 50 period. I'm just giving a example okay you are free to use uh, whatever moving average uh, period that you're comfortable with some people like using the exponential moving average some people like using the moving uh, simple moving average okay uh, the goal of this video is just to uh, give you some ideas about how to better manage uh, your positions okay it's not a like it's not a hard and fast rule about what you should do and what you should not do okay so now that I've cleared that, uh, let's talk about how do you use this, okay? So it's rather straightforward. Suppose you enter somewhere here, okay? You enter somewhere at the top here, okay? You exit when you see a crossover, okay? You can see this uh, red color circle here, okay? So you enter, uh, you just wait for the crossover to happen and you know when the crossover happens, you just exit the position, okay? And you can just slowly, you know, trail your, uh, your stop loss, shift it, shift it, shift it until, you know, uh, until you see that uh, market has so-called reverse, then you exit. Okay, that's how you hold on to your winners. Okay, so another disclaimer is that uh, this strategy or rather this uh, you know trolling technique only works in a ranging market. Okay, uh, moving average by definition it's used when there's a tra trending market. So if you are a trader who trades consolidation like this, uh, then you won't want to be using the moving average crossover because in a consolidation, the moving average is technically useless because uh, it's, it's going to be flat, right? In this case, you see that it's flat. It doesn't mean anything. But when you see it in a trend, you can see that uh, the 20 period moving average uh, is acting as dynamic uh, resistance uh, in this kind of market. Okay, so you only want to apply this strategy uh, in a ranging market, okay? So the next one is trailing via moving average close, okay? The idea is the same. Again, you can see that uh, I'm using the same uh, set of uh, charts and, you know, the same indicators, okay? So you can see over here that uh, the only difference is that uh, this one relies on a moving average close. So when you see that uh, this price has closed above the moving average, uh, you can exit, okay? So the rationale for this is very simple, okay? If you look at this chart over here, ever since the market started selling down, you notice that uh, this level here, its resistance is a dynamic resistance here again, okay? Here again, almost touched the uh, 20 
SMA moving average, but uh, you know, it got sell down as resistance here again. So, you know, it was resisted once, twice, three times, four times, five times, and you know, so if you see in this kind of scenario that uh, the moving average is resisted, you know, like five times, then naturally, if uh, the moving average is broken, uh, you would want to exit the trade. Okay, it's very, you know, it's very common sense, right? Something has been acting as a resistance, but now a uh, price has broke it, obviously, you want to be out of the trade. Okay, so same disclaimer as the previous slide. Okay, the moving average only works in ranging, uh, sorry, only works in trending market, sorry. Sorry, sorry about that typo. Let me see if this, yes, sorry about that. Just saw it. Okay, so it only works in the uh, trending market. Okay, so you do not want to use it uh, in the range bound uh, market condition. Okay, so let's move on to the third one, which is trailing rear break off trend line. Okay, so this strategy uh, or rather trailing technique involves uh, you draw a trend line. Okay, you draw a trend line and uh, when there's a break of the trend line, uh, you exit okay so this is very si similar to the moving average okay because uh, it must be used in a trend okay there must be a trending market condition okay if you struggle with you know identifying what's a trending market and what is a ranging market then uh, make sure you download our free day trading guide okay uh, the link is in the description okay because uh, we do teach you how to identify the market condition okay so you want to use it in a Training scenario. In fact, most of the strategies, uh, you know, that we teach in this video, you want to apply it in the training market, right? Because, uh, you know, the goal of this video is to write massive trends. Okay, so uh, you, if you are watching this video, then this video involves, you know, uh, holding on to a, a trend, right? You catch a trend and you hold on to the trade as long as you can. Okay, uh, this isn't a video about, um, you know, consolidation trading where you buy low and you sell high, or you sell high and you buy low. Okay, so just another clarification. Okay, so uh, trading via break of trend line is so very straightforward. Uh, when you see, you know, the candle close below the trend line, you exit. Okay, so if you need, you know, some videos on how to how to draw the perfect trend line, you know, what some of the uh, guidelines as to how to draw the correct trend line, right? Uh, we do have other videos, so make sure you check out that. Right, so make sure you hit the subscribe button because we have a lot of videos like this. Okay, so you want to make sure that you draw your trend line correctly because if you draw it wrongly, uh, you're gonna come up with a different conclusion and you might exit your trade prematurely. Okay, so in this video, I do not want to go into uh, how to draw the trend line because I have another video. So make sure you check out the other video after this video. Uh, you know, if you do not know how to draw a trend line yet. Okay. So the last one would be trailing via break of structure. Okay, so just a clarification, what do I mean by structure? Okay, I'm referring to two main things. Uh, it could be a chart pattern or it could be a swing high or swing low is broken. Okay, so I'll give you uh, two examples just to, you know, uh, illustrate to you what I actually mean. Okay, so in this case over here, it's a double top uh, chart pattern because you can see that there's a first top here and there's a second top here. Okay, so this is one example of a chart pattern. So when you see a chart pattern, okay, and in, in the case of double top, uh, you have a neckline which I've drawn over here. Okay, that's a horizontal line. Okay, when price breaks the neckline, then that's your sign that uh, you want to get out. Okay, so assuming that you enter somewhere here and you know you're riding the trend and you see a double top, right, and you see that price has broken below uh, the neckline of the double top, then uh, you want to exit. Okay, of course, this also works for a uh, head and shoulders pattern, which is another uh, reversal chart pattern. Okay, for the uh, for price when it's you know trending up and it reverses down. Okay, the opposite is also true when you have a double bottom, or you have an inverted head and shoulder, and you know price has been dropping, and you have a double bottom or inverted head and shoulder, and price breaks the neckline. That's a sign that price is going to reverse up. Okay, so on the break of the neckline, uh, you want to exit your position. Okay, so that's uh, number one, that's chart patterns. Now, let's show you an example about the swing low and, uh, you know, the high, swing low slash high being broken. Okay, so in this chart, you can see over here that there was a, a swing high here. Okay, you can see that uh, there was a swing high roughly at 102.41. Okay, it started selling down and a uh, price uh, just uh, close above it. Okay, so in this case, we have a close above the uh, swing high. Okay, so that's also a sign for you to get out of the trade. 
Okay, so I'm, I don't have example for the opposite, which is the uh, break of the swing low, but I think you kind of get the example that uh, you do, you, you want to identify a swing high, swing low, and if there is a close above uh, the swing high or swing low, then you want to exit your trade. Okay, so now let's talk about why you need multiple exit strategies. Okay, this this portion is very important because this is a mistake that a lot of traders make. Okay, so if you are making this mistake, uh, make sure you imp start implementing other exit strategies. Okay, so let's consider this example over here. We are at Euro do sorry, dollar yen again. So let's say you enter somewhere over here, which is about 107.50 region. Okay, you enter here. Okay, and you know, price is going down your way and you're in nice profit. Okay, but because your trading strategy, you only use the uh, trailing by trend line break, which is uh, this one over here, right? This, this uh, technique which I, I covered earlier. And uh, you draw the trend line like this, okay? Because uh, you don't really have a very significant, uh, uh, you know, swing high over here to connect it. Okay, and you draw your trend line like that. And you choose to exit the uh, position here. Okay, what happens is that you enter here, sorry, you enter here and you exit here, but the maximum profit you could have captured was here. So in this case, you would have given up more than 50% of your profits. Okay, so that's not a wise, wise thing to do. That's, that's not a good way to manage your trades, right? You want to uh, give your trades enough room to move, but at the same time, you don't want to give back too much of the profits, okay? So it's kind of like a bal balancing uh, art Right, you, you need to balance between uh, giving your, your, your trade space to move, right, space to retrace, but at the same time, you don't want it to give so much space that uh, you, know, you give up a big chunk of your profits. Okay? So in this case, if you just apply this uh, trend line break and you sit here, uh, half the profits is gone. Okay? So that's why you need to have uh, multiple exit strategies. Okay? So I hope this you know, clearly drives home the point of why you need to have multiple exit strategies. And uh, the four... You know, four ways to manage your trades. It's not the only way to manage your trades, okay? It's what four of the most uh, simple way to manage your trades. In fact, uh, I think when I first explain it to you, you probably got it immediately because it's not too difficult to master, okay? But you know, as you get, get more proficient as a trader, you slowly develop uh, other ways that you exit your, your trades. For example, you might exit your trade before a news event. You might exit your trade... Uh, over the weekend to reduce over weekend, uh, you know, the weekend uh, risk, you know, because sometimes when the market opens on a Monday price gaps and you want to reduce your over, you know, your weekend exposure. So these are things which you can slowly incorporate. Okay, so that's it for this video. So just a recap, okay, uh, in this video, I talk about the four ways to manage your trades. Okay, the first one is trailing via moving average crossover. The second one is trailing via uh, moving average close. The third one is a trolling via break of trend line. And last one is the trolling via break of market structure. Okay, I also talk about why you need to have multiple exit strategies. Okay, so if you are, you know, you, you still have a singular exit strategy, make sure you incorporate this, right? Because watching this video and not incorporating anything, it's, it's, it's useless, right? You need to change the way you trade if you want to improve your trading results, okay? So thanks for watching. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell icon because uh, we create videos like this to help you become a better trader. Okay, so we also have the free day trading guide, which you should definitely download, right? Because it's free. Okay, the link's in the description. Make sure you check that out. Okay, it's totally free. Just uh, provide your email and uh, we'll send you the uh, free day trading guide immediately. Okay, we have a strategy inside that that teaches you how to day trade and we also teach you how to identify a candlestick patterns as well as market conditions. So there's a ton of value pack in that uh, trading guide. So make sure you get it, grab it. You have, if you have any other questions, please leave a comment down in the section and I'll do my best to address it. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your time.